Gun shearer Davo Hamlet didn't anticipate a starring role, but when the parched town of Mullawar decided to document the big dry, he found himself right in the picture. How do you feel like uh, being a bit of a star? Oh, oh I wouldn't know. <laughs> Oh, the, shock. the story starts in 2007, the historic farming area desperate after years of drought. Earnings were down, violence was up and hope was in short supply. Community Development Officer Rachel McKenzie helped locals open a new chapter. There's a lot of broken windows and um, unloved buildings previously. We can say, yeah, we come from Mullawar now. <laughs> Before you sort of was a bit... Isn't it about saying it because of the way the town was? Residents painted abandoned buildings and held writing and photography workshops. Young and old capturing thousands of images fall thicker than water. A book reflecting Mullawar's lifeblood, the resolve and resilience of its people. And the book shows it, which I think is fabulous. The book, um, I don't know, you can see everyone's personalities in the book. And there's a lot more town pride. Yeah, we've worked very hard on that to... Um, create a sense of community. And it seems sometimes life really does imitate art. Crime rates are down more than 10% and primary school attendance is up. And you're in the book. And I'm in the book. <laughs> And if you feel like a quiet read in the loo, you'll just love this. A Dinkum Mullawar Dunny's even been included in the collection. It's one of the classics out of more than 9,000 photos snapped for the project. Hope we've got a bestseller on our hands. Oh, it's not necessarily about a bestseller, but um, I think if, if the town's proud of what they've done, I think we've achieved our goal. We walk our streets in pride now. If I give up, we will probably go down. <laughs> But we'll remember you. Because yeah. you're in the book. <laughs> <laughs> and the true blue happy ending, it's rained now as well. In Mullawar, Nick Way, 10 News.